everybody, this is Matt with remove-malware.com and today we're going to go ahead and use our uh, bootable disk that we made in the last set of videos. Uh, it's a bootable anti-malware disk. Um, the PC that we're going to work on is my infected PC. It's got over a thousand threats on it. It's uh, totally unusable and uh, we're going to clean off all of it with uh, no problem at all because when you're using a bootable anti-malware disk all the malware on your PC is totally helpless we're gonna go ahead and detect it and remove it with Avira and super anti spyware and then we can also go ahead and manually delete stuff as well we can use uh, things like hijack this um, we can modify our startup any anything you wanted to do on an infected PC but you can't do to um, especially the latest generation of malware where it just won't let you do anything period it turns your computer into a bot and that's pretty much it so anyway this is a PC we're working on like I said I'm gonna go ahead and reboot and set up my uh, BIOS so that I can boot off my bootable CD I missed it, so hang on. Alright, let's go to my BIOS and go to my boot section. And we want to make our CD ROM uh, boot in front of the hard drive, basically. and I've got my uh, bootable disk in there right now this is what ultimate boot CD for Windows looks like you get a little menu you can choose from if you just want to test um, your memory you can test your memory with memtest86 you can also edit the NT password and registry with this and then what we're going to go ahead and do what I normally do is just launch ultimate boot CD for Windows which basically loads up a a copy of XP inside of RAM basically inside the RAM on our computer so we're working off the CD and in RAM we're not touching the hard drive really at all so this can um, take a little while to start I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. It can take anywhere from 5 minutes to 15 minutes. It's not exactly fast uh, because you are loading an operating system from your DVD drive basically into RAM. So I'll go ahead and pause the video. I'll be right back. Okay, well, it's still starting right now. It's been only a minute or so, but I actually need to start a new video because um, I need to reboot my host PC for something. So uh, this, this first video will be short, but... Uh, We'll get on to video two here in a few minutes.